won both the 1500 and the 5000 at the same World Championships. Tom, there you see uh, Legat in the U.S. uniform there just in second place. And when we talked today, he said that he thought he'd feel something, some sort of fatigue from that 1,500-meter win. But he said his body feels great psychologically. He's good. He said maybe he's just got a tremendous shot of adrenaline because he got the big one off his back, winning that gold medal in the 1,500 meters. So the race underway, and Jesus Espana, who is from Espana, from Spain, leads Craig Matram, Buster Matram of Australia. Bernard Legat of the U.S. is in third place. Juan Luis Berrios of Mexico is fourth. Hisham Balani of Morocco is in fifth place. As they continue on their first lap here in the men's 5,000. And another first for the United States here in this 5,000-meter uh, final. First time ever three Americans qualify. We already mentioned Bernard Legat. Adam Goucher was out there as well as Matt Tegenkamp. Both of them uh, taking camp running in the back, bib number 1143. And Adam Goucher's wife, Kara, won the bronze medal in the women's 10,000, the first night of competition. And uh, it was quite a surprise and quite an accomplishment for Kara Goucher. Perhaps that will inspire her husband, Adam. And he is uh, right in the back of the pack at the moment. When I talked to him, Tom, I couldn't get him off the phone, and we started talking about his wife's uh, accomplishment. But he said they couldn't celebrate too long because then Kara told him, now everything points to you. All the energy is behind you. Try and get out here in this final and have something happen. 68.4 seconds of first lap, so it's very slow. I know Bernard Lagat was interested in breaking the American record uh, for this event held by Bob Kennedy, 12.58.21. But this slow early quarter probably takes that off the table, and it will be more about trying to pick up another medal, possibly gold for Legat. Benjamin Limo of Kenya has taken the lead. Espana is second. Matram is third. And Bernard Legat running about fifth right now. You can see him in the uh, white jersey in the middle of the pack. Bernard Legat, who earlier in these world championships ended a 99-year-old drought, becoming the first American to win a world or Olympic 1,500-meter title since the 1908 Olympics. It was quite a moment. Let's revisit it. Well, Legat's win in the 1,500 was one of the top moments of these world championships. We happened to run into him the next day, and he was just so gracious and so appreciative of all the support and so thankful to have finally been able to represent the United States and to win a gold medal at that. And if you'll remember, we covered the medal ceremony as well. And it was very emotional, waited all this time to represent the United States. And in his first major international competition, wearing red, white, and blue, he was able to take the gold medal. They continue at a very slow pace. In fact, the first thousand was covered in three minutes, very slow pace. Benjamin Limo of Kenya continues to lead Buster Mottram of Australia. You see Legat in there in fourth place at the moment. Espana, Kipchoga, Belani, Abdallah, Barrios of Mexico. They're all up there strung out at a very slow pace so far with less than seven laps to run. Starting to pick it up just a little bit. And Legat continues in fourth place. And Bernard Legat is, is comfortable at this pace, and what he's hoping for, Tom, in the big picture is to see if this 5K can go well, meaning getting on the podium, possibly grabbing the gold, because that would tell him that he would be able to attempt this 1,500, 5,000-meter double in Beijing a year from now. But comfortable pace, Legat is well within himself. And while they continue here in the men's 5,000, let's check in with Dwight Stones for a report on the women's high jump. Back in the men's 5,000 meters. Thank you, Dwight. We have less than five laps to run here. Buster Matram of Australia has the lead over Kipchoge of Kenya. Bernard Lagat in about fourth place right now, just to the outside. As uh, moving up in the yellow is Kipsiro of Uganda. And the Balani of uh, Morocco is in there also on the inside. Tom, the pace through 3,000 meters, 8 minutes, 37 seconds. Again, slow, beginning to pick up just a little bit. And you know, when you look at this shot, you just can't ignore Craig Bustamatram there in the front. 
he is a guy that competes with no fear. Someone asked Matra, you know, where do you get the nerve to challenge the Africans? And he said, no one told me I was not supposed to win. And that's the way he competes. In the front, you see Matram in the green shorts and the white singlets from Australia. But he is always in the mix, indoor, outdoor, and now the pace beginning to pick up here, Tom. They have four laps left. And Matram has surrendered the lead as Hisham Bilani of Morocco moves ahead. And also Mo Farah of Great Britain is alongside the challenge. Matram now back into third. Here's a move by Kipsiro of Uganda. And now he takes command as they continue to slide down the back stretch. Ali Abdallah of Eritrea has joined the leaders and settles into third place. Just outside Bernard Legat, the other two Americans, Goucher and Taken Camp are back in the pack. And Goucher telling me before this race that he was not going to hang too close to the front early, but wanted to slowly move up. Goucher now second to last in the back on the rail, say that he slowly wanted to move up as the race unfolded. As for Matt Tagenkamp, who's just in front of him, he said once he gets to the final, which is where he is now, stay with that lead pack and try to cover every move. Almost a fall there, elbows flying. Everybody's staying upright now with three laps to go. That was a close thing. And Moses Kipsero of Uganda continues to lead as Bekele of Ethiopia moves up on his inside. Then it's Mo Farah of Great Britain on the outside in third. Hisham Balani of Morocco amongst the leaders. Bernard Lagat dropping back a little bit. He's now in seventh place as Tegan Camp of America moves alongside. Legat. Still anybody's race now as they turn into the home straightaway again. And now you wonder how much longer this waiting game will, will go on. This is setting up to be a classic kicker's race, and Bernard Legat setting himself up in the perfect position on the outside of lane two, out of the way, making sure that he doesn't get his legs tripped up with anyone, ready to use that sprint speed that he surely possesses, being a great 1,500-meter runner. All 15 still in it. With two laps to go, Moses Kipsero of Uganda, Taraku Bekele of Ethiopia, Mo Farah of Great Britain. From Kenya, Kipchoge is also up there. Bernard Legat now moves ahead of Tegan Camp. Remember, he's had that kick to win the 1500. Here's Farah, Mo Farah. Takes over the lead as the pace quickens. And Bernard Lagat still remaining patient and relaxed. He's just in front of Matt Tagenkamp of the United States on the outside as the pace is really picked up now, Tom. Kipchoge of Kenya moving up to challenge the leaders Farah and Bekele. And there on the outside is Bernard Lagat. He's in sixth place right now. He's on the outside, that's where he was to kick to win the 1500. Farah leads with a lap to go. Mo Farah in front, but Bekele right on his heels in second place. We'll see if Legat has that closing kick again. Kipchoge of Kenya now in second place behind Farah. Farah Kipchoge, and after that from Uganda, it's Kip Siro. Bernard Legat in fifth place. Now he's in fourth place. They turn for home. Here comes Legat. He's in second place. No man has ever won the 1500 and the 5000 at the World Championships. Bernard Legat kicks it into gear, and here he comes again to take the lead. Taking camp of the U.S. also closing, but here's Legard Legat. Bernard Legat of the U.S. to the line to make history for the United States. What a performance at these World Championships. Bernard Legat of the United States, the first man to win the 1500 and the 5000 at the World Championships. With well, that trademark late kick turns into the home straightaway, with Kip Chogi in the lead and Bernard Lagat blazes by him and heads to the record books, becoming the first man in world championships to double in the 1500 and 5000, the last time in fourth place. Bernard Lagat, Kip.